witchcraft and they call themselves Christians. What say? They are Christians that practice witchcraft and call themselves Christian. But I did a video before, my friend, that you cannot be a Christian and be a witch. If you're a Christian and you're a witch, that means you're, you, you're lukewarm. And the Bible say he won't spit you out of his mouth. So you have a decision to make. You're either for, for, for God or you're for the devil. And you can't be in between. Because if you're in between, you are lukewarm. So I'm making this video, my friend, because there are a lot of people that profess to be a Christian, but they are chanting voodoo. They are chanting witchcraft. They go to God, and, and you got to know them that labor among us. Hey, glory to God. You cannot be a Christian and be part of witchcraft. It's time he go to God to decide whose side are you on. Either for the devil or you for deliverance. He, you either for God, he go to God, or you for goonies. I say goonies, because that's what you are. He go to God. And there are a lot of people on the sound of my voice, my friend. You are practicing witchcraft and you call yourself a Christian. And you are not a Christian, my friend. What I say? You are not a Christian. You might go to church. You might carry a Bible. You might know the scriptures. But you are not a Christian by you quoting scriptures. You're not a Christian by you going to church. You're not a Christian by carrying a Bible. You are a Christian by your faith alone in Jesus Christ. What say? Your faith alone in Jesus Christ. So there are a lot of people, hey, glory to God, that family members are witches. And you got undercover witches among us. Some of the witches don't want to come out the closet. So they stay, they are, they are closet witches, my friend. What is a closet witch? A closet witch is the witch that goes to church and they profess to be Christian, but deep down they are witches. And the reason why they're witches is because the stars how to excite them. Hey man, they, they love, they love the herbal medicine, they love herb, they love nature. Hey, they love stone, they love gym. All of these things I'm saying, my friend, these are classic witches. Hey, Amen. And I know I start out by saying that, hey, glory to God, there are a lot of people that's in the church. And they're classic witches. Yes, they're classic. What's a classic witch? A classic witch is a person that is a witch, but they profess to be Christians, which they are not. And that's why they're recruiting a lot of people because you think you can be a witch and be a Christian. You cannot be a witch and be a Christian. You cannot serve the God and you can't serve Satan. You got a time. Moses, Moses told him, whose side are you on? Hallelujah. Elijah said, how long ought you between two opinions? If the Lord be God, serve him. And the Bible said, the people answer him, not a word. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, there are classic witches among us. They're on our job. Hey, yes, they are. They're on our job. As soon as you start talking about God, they walk away. As soon as you talk about God, they frown up. As soon as you talk about God, they get in the conversation and they change the conversation to make people attention is on them rather than on God truth. So they are classic witches, my friend. Yes, they are. They're in the closet. They haven't came out yet. They haven't manifest themselves behind closed door. They are witches, but in, in, in public, they call themselves Christian, but they're not Christian. They are witches, my friend. They might, they might carry a Bible. They might quote a few scriptures. And the only scripture they get quote, my friend, is scripture that have no condemnation. Now, scripture, my friend, is all about prosperity. It's all about love. So I'm saying this, my friend. There are closet witches among us. 
Amen. And some people, they're not going to manifest themselves because, my friend, once once they manifest to be a witch, my friend, you start seeing the devil. Hallelujah. And if you're a Christian, my friend, you know who are, who, who are the closet witches and who are the witches that have came out the closet. Hey, glory to God. And it's time for you, my. If you are a Christian, you ought to know, you ought to, the Bible say, you ought to know them, you ought to know them uh, among us. The Bible says you should know them by their fruit. The Bible says, try the spirit by the spirit, see where the be of God, because the many false prophets have entered into the world. Yes, yeah, so, the, yeah, they come to church, they come, they sit right beside you, and you can tell the closet witch. I'm going to tell you a closet witch, my friend. You ever go to church, and as soon as the singing going on, they get excited. Oh, glory to God! How an altar call come, they peep out. And they that's why the that's why the pastor should say, no one gets up for altar call unless you come to the front. Hey, glory to God! Hallelujah! Uh, and as soon as altar call come, they're ready to peep out and peep out the door, or peep out and peep in the, and go to the bathroom. That's why if you are a pastor. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And you know somebody, when altar call comes, my friend, they're ready to leave. They're ready to go to the bathroom. They're ready. They have an emergency. Why? Because they want to be saved. How glory to God. They sleep when the, when the word are being preached. They, they sleep when when a, when a pastor talk, quoting and saying that you must be saved. He start talking about heaven and talking about hell. They fall asleep. But the quiet, when the quiet going on, they get excited. When the shouting going on, they get excited. When the preacher word come, my friend, they, they go into deep sleep. It's not by the devil. So there are closet witches among us. Yes, they're in the closet. They haven't came out yet, but they are lukewarm. Because you cannot be a Christian and be a witch. Either a witch or a Christian. You can't be half and half. Hey, half and half, my friend. That's milk. Hey, glory to God. Half and half. That's called lukewarm. And if you read the Bible in the book of Revelation, glory to God, 15 chapter, Jesus Christ called the church of Laodicea. They have Jesus on the outside, and Jesus Christ stand in the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and come unto him, I will sup with him and he with me. So if you are lukewarm, yes, you are lukewarm. You are practicing witchcraft. You're practicing ogre boy. You're, you're, you're reading a horoscope. You're calling charisma. Charisma, whatever you call it, my friend. The psychic hotline. They don't call it hotline no more. They got a name now. I say it's K A S A M A. Charisma. Hey, glory to God. It's no more clear, 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 clear no more. It's now people reading their horoscope. People, hey, glory, getting their palm read. People having Christian ball. All these things, my friend, is witchcraft. You consulting the dead. Hallelujah. Neckerman said. Hey, glory to you. You are, you, you going to, hallelujah, you want somebody to tell your future. My friend, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding in all that way. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So there, they are, they are closet witches among us. What I say? They are closet witches among, anytime you are, you are a psychic. Anytime you're a crystal ball reader, anytime you're a horoscope, anytime you're a palm reader, anytime you go to the witches, my friend, for advice, my friend, you are a witch, my friend, and you are practicing witchcraft, and you are a lukewarm, you are half Christian and half witch. You, you ain't no half Christian, because there's no such thing. God wants you whole. God don't want you half. God don't want you part-time. God wants you full-time. Are you a full-time Christian? You can't be part-time Christian. You gotta be full-time. So if you're a part-time Christian, you are a witch. Hallelujah. Abba Father. Hey, glory to God. So if you are a full-time Christian, you are Christian. If you are if you're a part-time half and half, God don't want you half and half. God don't want you half-time lover. God wants you to be a whole lover. Hallelujah, oh, glory to God, I feel like dancing. You know why? They call their closet witches among us. There are people that, that call themselves Christian, but they ain't Christian. If you got hate in your heart, my friend, you are a witch. Ha, ha, glory to God. If you are a, if you are a, a dancer, you are a witch. 
I'm talking about dancing now. I'm talking about strip dancing. You are a witch. How, how about if you've been married 10 times, you are a witch. All these things I'm saying that these are classic witches, my friend. If you just go to church to get men, you are a witch. They are witches, my friend. They want sex. Uh, they shout, they dance, and speak in tongue, but they are horny. They are witches. And they are classic witches. They come, the, the Bible talk about Jezebel seduced by a servant to commit fornication. And, and Jezebel was a witch. Hallelujah. The reason why you, the reason why you lost your husband because they're classic witches. I did a message, my friend, just not a friend. Hey, glory to God. These are, these are people that we put our trust in and they are witches rather than your friend. And my friend, the best friend I have is Jesus. Not these witches that go to the church. They come to church. They come to church. Yeah, yes, they are. They're in the church. They sit right beside you. They want to be your friend. Don't give nobody your telephone number. Don't, don't have no conversation with nobody. Trust Jesus. Stop telling people your business because they're closet witches among us. You tell, you wonder why you're buying. You wonder why you can't set yourself free. Hey, Lord, you, you wonder why you're not free, my friend. God, he said, I come to set the captive free. He said, stand fast in liberty where Christ has made a free. Be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Bondage is witchcraft. Bondage is the voodoo doctor. How about glory to God? Hallelujah. That's all I have, sisters and brothers. But there are closet witches among us.